Here's some discussion of radar data. Uh, this comes from our work with Kansas, where they Kansas either typically flies on aircraft radar. Those radar uh, observes the Earth, that Earth, the Earth, or it actually observes the North and South Pole. The ice, they observe the ice, and then they probe the ice and see the ice bed. And this allows them to provide the boundary conditions needed in models of, um, of the, um, the glaciers to, see, to study glacier and ice sheet dynamics. There's a picture here of an internet connection. Actually, the North Pole and South Pole do not have good internet connection. And so these are a pseudo internet of things, because typically, the internet connection is done by taking the data from these sensors, putting them on disks, putting the disk on a plane, and running the plane back to um, to the continental US, and then we can put it all on the internet. Here's some pictures of the, this is done by the UITS at DIU, they built all this stuff. Here's the internet connection, here's a, here is a, so the cyber infrastructure used to process the data from these uh, radar, and this is all packaged up before it's shipped to Greenland to do some um, measurements. These are all laptops and servers and thing, disks and things like that. You get through a lot of disks in one of these uh, field expeditions, because the disk is relatively tough uh, exposure for the disk in this, in this world. When we Take all this data, we then do analytics on it. This work is done by Jerome Mitchell and David Crandall. There's more details of this in the radar informatics section of this course. You do things like is illustrated here. Uh, we take um, analytics method, here's one based on some earlier work, which basically takes these pictures, which are the radar pictures from these uh, sensors, and tries to find the layers, in this case here, this is the Ice air boundary and this green, that's the red, and the green is the uh, the ice rock boundary with the bottom of the glacier. Pretty pretty rocky, the bottom of the glacier. And um, these are um, versions done by human beings, and here are versions done by computers. And so here the data analytics is finding layers in images. So you have huge numbers of images. And you want to do image processing on, on them. At some crude level, that's what the pathology problem is. There you get lots of image, images representing where you try to scan for tumor, tumors. And that's again an, an image processing algorithm. Uh, it's important to note that uh, when we have these sensors, we need to put them in the field. Uh, in the field, there are lots of issues like the amount of power being limited. And so it's interesting to look at the use of GPUs, which are more power efficient. And here's some plots of the speed up you get on a GPU. So rather than having several um, ordinary Intel CPUs, you do add a GPU and get more power, and, or I should say, get as much processing as you wanted, but at lower electrical power cost. So there's the types of things one wants to do in this area. Here's an example of another um, use of sensors here in observing the ocean, where you have lots of sensors and robots running around the seafloor, gathering, sending the data up. And the so-called Ocean Observatory Initiative has a, has a cloud-based architecture for storing all this stuff. And then you analyze it on the Azure Cloud and then send it back down to your computer. So this is, an, this is just typical of many related applications of this type. Because you don't just have sensors in the oceans, you have sensors in the forest, you have sensors in your cars, you have sensors in your homes, you have sensors in you. And all of those are, uh, are going to go up into the cloud and get analyzed. Here is another related one for so-called um, remote sensing geoscience. That where uh, again, they're taking uh, more, you have more different um, imagery from lots of locations, processing the image to form complete um, pictures. And then that's a natural, these are natural types of, um, of um, pleasing the parallel application, because each image can be done separately. And they run very well on clouds, in this case, the Azure Cloud. 